Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this video weather briefing. We're going to talk about yet another cold storm coming down from western Canada, Gulf of Alaska, straight towards Southern California. Due to arrive on Thursday, we'll talk about the snow, the low snow levels, and the impacts from this upcoming storm. I first want to talk about some precipitation. We're really looking at some significant numbers so far this year. Pick your favorite spot, but anywhere from San Diego to Big Bear, precipitation is much above normal values for this date. We've also made up for some de deficits, especially uh, in San Diego and Big Bear. Precipitation amounts over the past six years are labeled, and also the precipitation over the course of this past winter on the left-hand side. The normal values for the entire water year are listed to the far right. Here's a map that might simplify it since October 1st, 2018. In Southern California, most locations have received 130 to 150% of normal, with some areas exceeding that upwards closer to two times as much compared to their average precipitation for this date. Those are all the purple shaded areas. All right, what's in store? Uh, we're not talking about an atmospheric river, but we're talking about a storm track directly from western Canada coming down from the Gulf of Alaska. What causes that storm track? Well, you also need a ridge of high pressure. And this ridge of high pressure, instead of being over us, is over the central Pacific blocking all the storms from the tropics, but allowing cold air to dive southward. We see this pattern continue through Monday, though a much weaker storm is expected on Monday. We do see the potential for a pattern change as we get into March. So it does look like we'll have about 10 days of dry weather rounding off February into early March. But then long range forecast models are indicating the potential for a return of wet weather across the West. Stay tuned for that. All right, what is the precipitation potential for our area in Southern California starting Wednesday afternoon as early as midday, running through Thursday evening in San Diego County? Here's what it looks like. Most places will receive only a tenth to a quarter, but a half inch to an inch for some of the wetter locations. This really does favor San Diego County along I-15. Now for our mountain areas, a little heavier precipitation, especially in San Diego County, where some of our mountain locations will receive one to two inches of precipitation, new precipitation. All right, what about snowfall? Snowfall is expected to be quite significant and low snow levels. So we're looking at one to two inches of snow as low as between two and 3,000 feet. So that means Alpine, uh, possibly up in the Cajon Pass. We're looking at three to 4,000 foot level of two to five inches. So that's places like Anza, for example, places uh, below Pine Valley, places up in the Cajon Pass. All right, what about higher up? So between four and 5,000 feet, four to eight inches of new snow, and the snow will be quite dry in the upper elevations above 5,000 feet. What about for the tops of, say, Palomar Mountain and Mount Laguna? Six to 12 inches of new snow. And also for Idlewild and Pine Cove area, as well as Crestline, up to running springs. What about the ski resorts? They could receive as much as eight to 16 inches of snow with the heaviest over the Big Bear area. And um, the highest terrain could receive over a foot of new snow from this storm when all said and done by Thursday evening. All right, what about the wind? We do expect windy conditions over the ocean as shown here with frequent gusts over 30 miles per hour. But we also expect pretty high winds across the mountains and desert slopes as shown here in the yellow and red shaded over 50 miles per hour in those desert slope areas and along the ridges. So we're also looking at windy conditions combined with the snow. So treacherous travel, low snow levels, cold temperatures, high temperatures probably not getting above 32 degrees for most elevations above 5,000 feet on Thursday. Here's the grand summary, very cold and unusually cold. A repeat of what we saw Sunday, Monday, but even a little bit colder. Snow levels starting off around 4,000 feet, but lowering Wednesday night and Thursday morning at their bottom, about 1,500 to 2,000 feet. Heaviest snow looks to be the east 
eastern San Bernardino Mountains and the San Diego Mountains. Snowfall. So if you're up above 3,000 feet or traveling, expect 2 to 5 inches. If you're going above 4,000 feet, expect 5 to 10. That includes the mountain resort areas such as Big Bear, Idlewild, Mount Laguna, even up around 5 inches at Julian. 6 to 12 inches above 5,000 feet. So that's like Cuyamaca Lake, Palomar Mountain. That's also the Big Bear area. That's Pine Cove, Idlewild. And then 8 to 16 for those most favored areas such as the ski resorts in San Bernardino County. And perhaps up to that um, in the highest points of San Diego County. Heaviest rainfall. Well, we have a couple things going on. We have our normal rain riding up the coastal slopes and ringing itself out. But we also have the potential for thunderstorm rain. So bursts of heavy rain possible anywhere. Uh, even some of the desert locations, even though most areas will get less than a quarter on Thursday. So the steadiest rainfall, though, is expected across the San Diego County coastal slopes. That's where we see the biggest amounts adding up. And that's where we see the more persistent rain on Thursday with snow in the mountains above 3,000. The total rainfall is going to be a wide range, some places as low as a quarter of an inch, such as Orange County. Other places that receive a thunderstorm or more persistent rain up around an inch, especially in San Diego County. We're also going to see some rain in the deserts, but most places um, not exceeding a quarter of an inch, even in brief heavy showers. Cold temperatures and frost expected Thursday and Friday mornings. I think the coldest day will be Friday morning as we clear out and the winds die off. Perfect ingredients for frost and freezing temperatures. Probably the coldest temperatures we've seen this year and the lowest snow levels. The next storm, well, we're going to have to wait a while. There is a weak storm on Monday, but we do look like we see a break for the latter part of February, early March before we have some potential to return wet weather to the West Coast later in March. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Here's a couple reminders when we're talking about winter storm warning. We're talking about high-end snowfall even for areas used to snow. We're talking about windy and cold and high impact potentially because of low elevation snows like in this case. Winter weather advisory we're talking about low-end snowfall and wind combined but still can be a travel hazard. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We post things continuously on Twitter with the latest information. And watches and warnings are posted in real time at weather.gov San Diego. Thanks for tuning in.